you'll notice in our PFEMA form that uh, we've got a number of drop downs here. So you can see I can click here, you can see options here and so forth. In fact, if you can get ones up here like in location fields just to show you what this it's possible of. Uh, scrolling out to the right here, you get a choice here. Item complete rather than typing it in yes, no, or in work, right? Uh, in the works and uh, so forth. So there's these uh, drop downs here, and those are all created by a combination of features. Uh, basically, we're using, first of all, under the data tab, we're using data validation. So you can see if I click on the occurrence here and I go to the data validation, I click on it for that particular cell. It shows that we're using a list and we're using a source. So rather than a range of cells, we're using a, what we call a named range. And why are we doing that? Well, we're actually calling this same range several times. So just to make it easier, uh, we've actually got the same selection here. You can see this one with frequency. And if I come over here, I go over here to my occurrence. I do the same thing, data validation click on it, you see it's also frequency, it's the same named range that we're using here. So named ranges are actually controlled in Excel, they're under the formulas area. And you can see name manager right here, name manager. So if we go here, here you find the frequency one. So if I click on this, it tells me where it's coming from. It's the forms control, that's the sheet it's on, A3 to A12. So if I close out of this and I go to my forms control sheet and I scroll up, and I look at A3 here through A12. So this is a range that we've called frequency and we're using it back over here. So you can see the values here and if I go back to my template, if I click on this, those are the values that show up here. Similarly, if I go to my severity, we have a drop down option right here and you can see here, we've got these options, one through 10, all the way from none all the way down to hazardous, right? Number 10 for hazardous. And we can see that if we come up here, we go back to the data, we look at the data validation, and this is using the severity name range. So to see what's in that, we go back over to the formulas, name manager, and here we find the severity here. And you can see down here, it's a forms control, cell A16 to A25. So if I close this, go back over here, go to the forms control, A16, there's a none, all the way down to A25, which is a hazardous without warning. Anytime you see the drop down list on the PFEMA form, we are using a combination of under the data, data validation, and then checking the formula, formulas, the name manager here. So you might not be familiar with this, you might want to refer to some uh, additional Google searches on how to set these up.